good afternoon. Hi, it's April Braswell, and I'm an award-winning holistic life coach here in Orange County, California. I have to say that because there are a couple other Orange Counties. There's one in Florida. There's one in New York. I'm in Orange County, California. So hi and happy Memorial Day weekend. Hi, welcome. I wanted to do a quick hello and check-in on Sunday now late afternoon to do a check-in, see how you all are. Here in California and in Orange County, we are starting to do a little bit of lifting of the regulations and restrictions with the quarantine time. So I wanted to see how people are. Chime in the comments below. Hi, give it a thumbs up and chime in. Let me know how you're doing where you are, how things are where you are, as well as, you know, some of your prayer requests that way. We have had folks where family have been affected. I had one friend where sadly her sister passed from COVID in New York across the country from, from her. I feel very fortunate and blessed. Uh, my immediate family, we've all been safe and sound. We are all quite okay, thank God and praise God for that. However, I do send out prayers to folks and your families for protection and love and guidance where you are that, and sorry, I've got this weird shadow going on over me, uh, that indeed, if folks are being affected by by the virus. I do have friends who are nurses. We do have family where they're nurses and they're doctors and everyone's okay. So thank you for everyone's thoughts about that. I appreciate it. So in terms of the guided meditation, we'll just start in a minute. I do want to do, it's a beautiful day here in Southern California, and I want to make sure to bring in some of that gratitude energy that, hi, welcome, many of us feel with the Memorial Day weekend because there is this beautiful weather that started around the country. I've been hearing from folks and seeing posts where folks are starting to venture out a little bit into nature, taking small hikes, uh, trying to get into areas that are a little more open where they could easily see and keep a safe social distance where they still get out outside. And, and if you've been hearing anything about the five D things in terms of the earth has been raising her vibration. That's part of God's creation right now is apparently we are raising our vibration as a whole planet. So whether in whether you believe in that or not, it, it's, you know, it's a codification thing. I think it's interesting. Um, and if that resonates with you, great. And if not, uh, just a lot of us have been noticing so much change has been going on in the last two months and we've been tired by it or fatigued by it is one of the best ways to go replenish our energy from God and from divine is to go outside. And literally, so it's, I have not been able to get to a more open air place. I hope to do that tomorrow with Jordan and go take a nice walk, maybe in the first thing in the morning or later in the afternoon. And this is something you can do here now with us together. And you can also practice doing a little bit of this when you go out in nature. So if you're like myself where I've been going out in my backyard and both lying on the ground, connecting with the earth directly, as well as just getting my feet on the ground to walk around a little bit. I really do like to go barefoot quite often. Um, probably ever since I moved to California more than 20 years ago, both in Northern California and here in Southern California. So what we're gonna do right now is go ahead and start that guided meditation so we can bring in that wonderful violet radiance from God's divine heart, bring that into us, infuse us with that love, that divine light from the divine heart of God. And yes, I'm in sports bras uh, all, all the time now because of the weather. Uh, getting my vitamin D. So let's go ahead and get into a comfortable position right now. Put both feet on the ground where you are. You want to sit in a position where you're supported a little bit. Your back is supported. And then go ahead and close your eyes and start focusing on your breathing. Breathing in 
and breathing out and welcome to all the new folks who've been liking my page there have been a lot of new ladies here in Southern California hello and welcome and please join in and share this with your folks your family as we all connect and celebrate the sort of opening up of things a little bit more still very safely doing this uh, both here in Southern California and around the United States and across the world this weekend. So go ahead and relax. Breathe and exhale. And now in your mind as we start, sit up and give yourself a good support with your solar plexus, your abdominal area, your third chakra in your endocrine system, in, the, in your meridians. And now imagine and please invite in four guardian angels. I think of them very much as an Archangel Michael kind of an energy. They are guards. They are, and, and invite them in for guardian angels with flaming swords of protection to guard your home, guard your space, and only those who are aligned with light and love, who are aligned in particular with your unique divine purpose, your unique purpose with being divinely created and here and in existence. You were knit together in your mother's womb. God knew you from the very moment of inception and had a plan for you. And you came forward for that. You said, yes, I want that. Yes, yes, yes. And I kind of imagine it as sort of like, it's like a college entrance exam. I kind of imagine it as the, where we were like, we submitted our application for uh, what we wanted and God, God says, yes, I have a plan for you. Yes, you come forward and be incarnate now and bring that in. Imagine your crown chakra, your crown area, the top of your head opening, opening, very comfortable aperture as you continue breathing well and fully. And imagine above you, many, many yards and miles above you, that divine heart of God opening. And it's like, I imagine it as, um, I see sort of like a picture of, of God, of just you know, like sort of like shoulders um, and below uh, opening. You just see like that heart and the heart being indicated there and that streaming love energy and it's love and it's the full range of love where there is love with excellent boundaries, love which is without condition. It is unlimited love. And bring that, see it streaming down, streaming down, streaming down into you and filling you now, filling you with that amazing divine love radiance. I see it streaming as blue, like watercolors, those sort of beautiful colors where there's both color and some luminescence, like light shining through, like, like the white background shining through behind where it's streaming down. There's blue, there's yellow, there's pink, there's lilac, and really an amazing violet radiance. And bring that into you deep, deep, now deep inside of you. <sighs> Breathe it in. And you might notice a bit of a tingling sort of all around your body in your fingers, in your hands, your feet. I even feel it like sort of like all around my arms. It's just like a little tingle. And you might feel it more sort of inside you as a little tingle. I feel it sort of like a, almost like a surface, um, the surface and just a little bit into my body. Just that marvelous radiance and incandescence from God's spirit, God's heart streaming in, streaming in to fill you. In Christianity, one of the phrases I've heard from a wonderful evangelist from Wisconsin was he referred to it as that we are to seek a fresh infusion from God's spirit. So I hope that phrase it speaks to your spirit as well, whether you're Christian exactly. Just it's think of that as that God's divine spirit 
or you think of divine source, bring that in. Receive, receive, receive that fresh infusion. Ah. Breathe it in and then give a good exhale like that. Release anything no longer blesses you and just let it wash out. And I'm in particular needing a fresh infusion today. I give platelets quite often on Saturdays here in Orange County at the Red Cross. And I'm happy to do so. I'm able to do that. So, so right now, especially with the COVID time, um, it really takes a lot out of me for about 24 hours. It's the full, I'm there for like four hours to donate as well as just about, just about four hours total. And then about two hours after I get home, it's the biggest effort for me when I first get home is I'd have to sort of shovel in salad, uh, like the super greens salad sort of stuff as fast as I can before I crash because I need to get nutrients into me. And, and then I really need to sleep. I rest, I get up for a little bit. I'm usually up for an hour or so and then I conk out again. And I'll be up again for a few hours, but it's really, it takes me until like through the next morning to reintegrate and to replenish my body. So whatever you've been having this week in your busy week, there are so many moms and dads who are homeschooling now as in addition to working, where you are homeschooling, your kids are home 24 seven. And it's a lot, it's a lot on your plate. Please come in here, connect and chime in and receive, receive this fresh infusion from God's spirit into you. And we're going to do one last little finish here just to close a little bit of tapping. And I'm just going to jump in. Uh, I'm not really going to walk you through how to do it. We're just going to jump in and do it. Is we're just going to release things. So I'm going to do the karate chop starting here on the side of my hand, a little EFT. Even though it's been a busy, busy week, oh, I completely love and accept myself. And even though, yes, it's been a busy, busy week, I now receive God's replenishment. And I receive, I receive, I receive. And I receive, I receive, and I receive. And I'm grateful to receive. I'm very, very grateful to receive. I ask as I receive for God to work a supernatural work through me. Supernatural work through me aligned and embodying my life purpose work. I'm here to impact and empower executive women and emerging leaders. Oh, so many emerging leaders, yes. Seeing their higher selves, all those ladies, all your higher selves, I see it, I perceive that in you. I do with men too quite often. I am here to assist in empowering you to step into her and bring her forward. And I'm going to kind of interrupt for a second and just do a little brushing off and brush off any of those old things that are no longer bless and serve you. And now under here, there's a sore spot. Go ahead and tap there for a few minutes. Oh, yes. <sighs> Breathe and relax and exhale any of those old beliefs, old limitations. So often it comes up as like little imposter syndrome sentences. Oh, who am I to do that? Who am I? Oh, I can't possibly. I couldn't possibly. Those, you can brush them off now. And then karate chop here on the side on the underarm area. I just call it the bra strap area, ladies. Yes, I can. Yes, I can step into her. I am her. And I am here to be her and to empower and impact couples and families and communities to be healthy, loving, and thriving 
this something even better. And then I close here on the back of my opposite hand. Oh yes, the healthy, loving, thriving communities where people are their higher selves. They are embodying that. Yes, yes, yes. And let's close on that vision of our higher selves. We are that person. We are here to be that person. I invite you to come over here and to share. In particular, there's the boosted post right now. It's the pinned post there at the top of my page here. Please do come chime in and share in the comments what your vision is. It's been so wonderful hearing some of the different people, their vision, the sort of like their passion project. If they're, all, they're sometimes they're, they're nonprofits and that's awesome. And some of them it's about earning money in order to both do that. And then it's like the, the both the, the making money part and the nonprofit start to be very, very intertwined. So please do go share in the comments there what your vision is, what your passion is, so we can be embodying that here together and where I can support you and empower you with that because that's what I'm here for. That's why I was created. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Please share this with the folks in your life and in your sphere of influence where it blesses them. Be the blessing. Go forth, shine your essence, and have an amazing afternoon and evening or morning where you are. Take care and God bless, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.